So, I'll preface this entire video with, I'm not trying to boast and I'm not trying to be racist, but, <laughs> so, uh, I, the reason why I'm talking about this just now is I, I just realized I was out of eggs, so I just ran to the store to go pick them up. And I am in my PJs, like, they look like just, they're just sweatpants and the loose shirt, but anyways, I'm in my PJs, I haven't showered today, and I don't have any makeup on. So, let's just say I'm, like, not at my prettiest at the moment, but anyways, I was just, and this guy, well, as I'm walking out the store, there's, like, the guy who was walking behind me, you know, and he says, excuse me, do you live around here? And I'm like, yes why kind of thing like I thought maybe he wanted instructions because I get asked for instructions because where I live it's, the streets are all confusing and then he's like oh he, he says oh I just wanted to let you know you're very beautiful which I was like what are you talking about and then he starts asking me out now I wear this every day I wasn't wearing it right now because I was not wearing my jewelry and I, I am gay I am like totally gay except this happens a lot and again I'm not trying to boast and I'm not trying to uh, be racist but, nine times, actually only once has it happened that was not a black guy who was older, and this last criteria, not as much, but most of the time, foreign accent. Now, well, I guess it was, like, there's only one time it's been a white guy, and, a, and there have been, like, two or three middle, more Middle Eastern, and I'm not talking about, like, this happened, like, has been happening for the last couple of years. It always happens, and it's almost always, it doesn't happen until they see me from behind. Why is this important? Because I got a big tush. <laughs> and, um, as, a, actually, I remember when I was at, in Vancouver, th oh, geez, three years ago, um, doing a semester at the Art Institute, um, I made a friend there who had just moved there for schooling from Jamaica. And he, and he told me later after we'd become friends, he says the, he said that the first time he saw me in a pair of jeans, he was like, damn, I've never seen an ass like that on a white girl, I'm quoting. So, and then I'm looking, I'm thinking about all the um, documentaries, well, not all of them, but the, I've seen some, you know, social, I, I'm a huge sociology person. And I've seen stuff about, like a documentary and some stuff about how, you know, the whole internal racism and, you know, the whole idea that, like, dark girls don't think they're pretty because they have dark skin, which I think is so stupid because, like, seriously, I see these gorgeous girls and I'm like, I wish I could be as pretty as you and you're saying you're ugly because your skin is too dark. What is wrong with you? Oh, uh, is it, uh, scab there or something? Anyways, and so I'm thinking, I am white. I am a Canadian c citizen. So, and I have the physical attributes that are favorable, so the big tush, mostly, it's just genetically, I don't get a lot, of, I don't get gain my weight on my tummy, I gain it more on my butt, thighs, and upper arms. My tummy is actually very small for this, my size, which makes it bitch to find pants that fit, but anyways. Um, so I feel like it's like, is it... <sighs> I kind of, I, I get really annoyed at these guys, and I actually, I remember seeing something on Facebook, and it was like, oh, uh, guys, don't be afraid to tell a girl she's beautiful, but I actually get sick of it, because it's almost always followed up with them hitting on me, asking, oh, maybe you want to hang out, or go see, go see a movie, or get some coffee sometime, and blah, 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 and I feel like if they're just trying to get a green card, because they almost always have a foreign accent, or they're trying to get the, you know, Canadian wife now that they're Canadian citizen kind of thing, I'm like, I don't want to be someone, someone's wife. Well, okay, one day I do want to get married, but, like, to a chick, obviously. And, like, I don't want to be, like, a little wife. I want to be my own human being. I don't know. If you're a dude, don't go hitting on girls you meet at the bus stop or walking out of the goddamn grocery store, like, for fuck's sakes. They're not going to these places in hopes of picking up a dude. They're going to these places in hopes of catching a bus, or picking up some eggs, or whatever else, so, um, yeah, I don't even know why I made this video, I just feel, felt like talking about it to someone, and this is so trivial, I'm not gonna go chatting on Facebook or phone or something, and I guess I made a bit of a PSA out of it, but, again, wasn't trying to toot my own horn or whatever, but, 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 I got a big butt, and I get, it gets me older, mostly black, I do attention. 
actually it's funny, the only white guy that, that was hitting on me, it was at a bus stop, but I was reading a Spider-Man comic, and I had my um, superhero comics Mosaic bag, um, and we were talking about Spider-Man or whatever for like 15 minutes, then at the very end he gave me his business card and said, maybe if you want to catch a coffee or something, let me know when he went to go catch his bus. Now that, he was actually like, oh, this cool, this chick is cool, like she's got a good personality, and I was like, you know what, I, I probably would have followed that up if I was straight, because you're a decent dude, and stuff. Like, you d don't just hit on me because, hey, she's a hot chick, you're like, hey, she's really cool, like, we have a lot in common, and, and, and it's just getting stupid and retarded, so this video is stupid, bye.